Whoa, hi there, guys. It feels right. It feels great. It feels lovely again. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it, it's Chris Beer in here. Uh, hi, it's Simi Joe. I have some stuff to talk about because um, we got the battle of the upcoming V cards. <laughs> Uh, AMD's Vega, which sounds pretty good, sounds, you know, like a star in the sky, versus NVIDIA's Volta, which sounds like a part of the woman's anatomy. Uh, or maybe you really like the Mars Volta. Who's Mars Volta again? Oh. Anyways, I'm Timmy Joe. I'm here. I'm going to talk about uh, AMD's upcoming impending doom of Vega versus a bunch of leaked rumors about NVIDIA's Volta and how I think NVIDIA is struggling to stay relevant and they're grasping at straws and they're worried for no damn reason. They already have a, an amazing feature set of graphics cards. So why are they rushing a pro new products to market and creating all this weird hype? Apparently, we might see a new graphics cards from NVIDIA uh, in early May, like soon. So gear up, put on your intros, and I'll see you in just a minute. And we'll talk all about it. Ah! Whoa! So it's the battle of the V cards. Vega versus Volta. This is going to be a fun one. 2018 is going to be uh, wonderful. Now, let's hope that these are just rumors. Like, I've heard some rumors from some sources that say that NVIDIA might be like at least having an event or a showcase of their Volta architecture uh, as soon as the beginning of May. And uh, Vega is set and it's rumored to be brought out around the end of May and actually like have same, like real cards available on shelves by early summer. So uh, it kind of leads me to believe that Vega must be pretty damn good if Nvidia is shaking in their booties enough that they're putting out all these like, you know, leaks and stuff that uh, a new architecture might be coming from them and update to their existing, you know, 1080 Ti series and uh, Titan Pascal series because they already have the best graphics cards. And even if Vega comes out and it competes at, you know, what, what, why do you need to worry about it for a little bit? Let AMD have the spotlight for a second so you can come back, you know, at the beginning of 2018 and steal the show back entirely again with something that just blows it out of the water. So, well, we'll have to see. It's all, you know, it's all hearsay at this point. But I will tell you what we know about Volta so far, or so far, I should say. It's hard to keep all these Vs in order. Uh, we do know that they plan on improving upon their uh, transistor process, going from 16 nanometers to 12 nanometers. Uh, this would allow for about a 15% increase in performance and a 50% less power draw, but it allows them to put a lot more of those amazing Titan and 1080 Ti CUDA cores on their die, on their chip, and that uh, inevitably means a lot more power. I mean, the 1080 Ti is a kick-ass card. And, you know, it can overclock, it can get high clock speeds. Uh, so why they're, you know, they need to change much at this point, you know, kind of remains to be seen. But uh, they will be switching to high bandwidth memory too as well. And uh, it's kind of weird because it's rumored that that uh, memory isn't really uh, in production yet, uh, you know. And uh, that would mean that if they're bringing out this new card, they might still have to use GDDR5X or maybe have some update. The tie has the HBM2, who knows, but hopefully they're, they're staving it off for a little while. And uh, there's huge, you know, rumors that this is going to come out, like, by the end of 2018, maybe Q3, just to stomp AMD in their tracks, you know. And we all know that Vega is going to be pretty good. It should at least compete with the 1080. Uh, and we've actually seen a leak this week, if we're switching over to the Vega side of the rumor mill, uh, that uh, they had, like, a performance leak online at uh, techpowerup.com now i don't know you know how uh you know great this source is but it's saying that at 1080p the radeon rx vega has been you know benchmarked and on their site at 
one gigahertz, it's uh, 5% slower than the 1080, not even the 1080 Ti. And it's, you know, it shows it's their Greenland architecture, 14 nanometer process uh, with HBM, and it's got all the, sh it's got a lot of the right information in here. But what uh, really stands out to me on this page is that the GPU clock speed's only at a thousand megahertz or gigahertz. And I'm pretty sure Vega is going to be a lot faster than that. I mean, the RX 480 and 580 ran over 1200. You know, the 580 is running at 13 to 14 right now. So with the 14 nanometer process, we know that it can already hit those higher clock speeds without having some ridiculous cooling setup on it. So I don't see why, uh, you know, the, the clock would be only a gigahertz. Even the R9 Fury X ran at uh, 1050 megahertz out of the box. So we know that their process, their Polaris architecture can do more than that. So that tells me that Vega is actually somewhere in line with the 1080 Ti. Uh, and you know, that's, you know, pre-launch hardware being benchmarked on this website. So a lot of, uh, you know, sites were focusing on, saying, um, you know, this is, as a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. It's showing that Vega competes with a Titan, uh, or sorry, with a GTX 1080, I should say, uh, right out of the box at a really low clock speed. So if you optimize this and put it all together, it's probably faster than a GTX 1080 Ti. So good on them. So uh, as far as Volta, it's, you know, Maybe it's going to be some amazing new architecture and it's really going to blow everything out of the water, but uh, the Vega series is definitely going to compete with the high-end offerings and the question will be the price. Is it going to be, you know, uh, only $400 for a, a top-end Vega card that gets the performance of a 1080 Ti? That, you know, that, that, if it's that good, then, you know, hats off to AMD and they might have to take a little hit at first, but they will be selling cards like hotcakes, hot cakes, if they can uh, pull that off. A low cost graphics card that competes with the 1080 Ti. And that will leave Nvidia, you know, to have to lower their prices. And maybe that's their thought. They'll bring the 1080 series down to like the AMD's level and then, you know, they'll be able to bring out a whole other higher tier that can't compete, you know, that, that uh, AMD can't compete with, so. It all remains to be seen. It's all part of the rumor mill, but all I can say is that 20, end of 2017, 2018, it's going to be amazing. Uh, game developers are really going to have to step up their game and start taking advantage of this. If everyone's got a 1080 Ti powered system, you know, then uh, they're going to be able to push 4K. You're going to have to go out and get a better monitor. It's, it's going to be pretty cool, but it's all expensive and relative in the end. I'm Timmy Joe. Those are my thoughts on Volta versus Vega at this point here at the end of April. But we will definitely be seeing all kinds of new stuff coming up, and it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a good time to be a computer geek. That is for sure. So watch Timmy Joe on Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to hear from you. What do you guys think? Is Nvidia crazy? Is AMT go Team Red, or do you bleed green like a Vulcan? I'll talk to you later. You guys have a good day.